Hello, welcome to Holy Name of Jesus Cathedral and this week's installment of Lexio Divina. I'm Deacon Mike Ailey. This week, as we prepare for uh, the Sunday readings, uh, is the third week in ordinary time. Before we go to a little bit of reflection, let's turn ourselves to prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Just a couple of things that I wanted to, uh, I guess, talk about or reference uh, as you read the and pray on the uh, readings for this coming week. Uh, the first in um, the Old Testament reading, which comes from um, uh, the book of Nehemiah, we uh, hear about um, the uh, prophet Ezra reading from the book of the law. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the book of the law, uh, as we understand it in the Old Testament, is really the first five books of the Bible. And all except for the final chapters of Deuteronomy, we ascribe uh, the author of these books as Moses. Um, and this law, um, really, uh, to the uh, people of Israel, is God. And in fact, it's exactly what we believe. So as you read through this, uh, reflect upon, I encourage you to reflect upon the similarities between what you read going on in uh, uh, Scripture, uh, I'm sorry, in, within the um, uh, liturgy of the ancient Israelites and what we do within our liturgy of the Word. Uh, compare um, when Ezra holds up uh, the scroll so that the people can see it, uh, what happens within our own Mass uh, tradition as the Book of the Gospels is, um, is processed around the sanctuary and then proclaimed from the Ambo. And, and just reflect upon how that continuity of liturgy has continued for thousands of years and perhaps see if if Christ is speaking to you um, from there. Um, the, uh, the next thing that I wanted to uh, point out within um, the gospel reading, which again we're reading from Luke uh, in this year C, we have the story of Jesus coming into the synagogue uh, and being handed the scroll. And again, similarities drawn between what's going on in the Old Testament reading and what Jesus is doing. Um, but he is quoting uh, from the scroll, um, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Now, the thing that I want to, I guess, draw our attention to, that year acceptable to the Lord for Christ is a reference to the, uh, to the year of Jubilee. Uh, now, remember, in um, Jewish tradition, every seven years, all debts are forgiven. So think about what Christ is proclaiming here, what's forgiven, what debts, the year of Jubilee. And he points us back to that Old Testament reading that we, we, we read, that now is the time to celebrate and rejoice. My dear brothers and sisters, as you take time to reflect and pray upon this, I ask that you um, I encourage you to uh, open your hearts to where God may be uh, leading you, focus in on that one passage or one word that really the Holy Spirit is asking you to grab onto and see where Christ is leading you. I look forward to seeing each of you this coming weekend. Uh, may God bless you.